was born in Moscow. But I remember nothing of that time. I was just an infant when the old world was destroyed in the flames of nuclear fire. I, along with 40,000 others, were saved by retreating to the metro stations deep under the city. Now, 20 years have passed, and going up into the embrace of an endless winter was left to a few brave souls. The metro was our home, and our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roamed the tunnels. Still, we never gave up hope that we would return to the surface. But one day, a new threat appeared, and we found ourselves in a war to determine the very existence of our species. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? Artyom, when you left your home station, do you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Gotcha! <laughs> we'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Тихо, тихо, тихо. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cut. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary vent system to open the gate. Artyom, check those crates for ammo and med packs. Like nobody's home. Before we hit the surface, put your gas mask on. We're almost there. This is the Korolev performance room. It's very close to the tower. Suki, here they come. Over. Land the tower. 
Repeat, we're at the town. Did the group move out? Over. Well, that's affirmative. We've made contact. I should be in the vicinity of the tower now. Over. Roger, we'll contact you again when we're... Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Form a circle! Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. Last I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. What the hell? Who could that be? It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. Thanks. Now close your kit. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Much. Most of what I hear is about Exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. 
Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Intruder alarming in the shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The whole... Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team, quickly get a weapon. Damn, they never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. Shot this one. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo novice, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novice with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post! Back here by morning. You must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand? Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Паровоз, не стучите колеса. Кондуктор, нажми на тормоза. Well, finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform. They're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? Вот что, спиривертоцы, бабушка здорова. Вот что, спиривертоцы, куча ед компот. Вот что, спиривертоцы, я мечтаю снова. Вот что. Artyom! So you're ready to move out? Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom, and you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gear? Let's go then. Hey guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. 
<laughs> I can do that. Let's go then. I'll write it then. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us too. Boy, let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Whoa! Artyomka! Free at last, huh? Well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. So, where are you from? Riga. I'm making the rounds, buying merchandise. Well, I bet you've seen a few places then. Yeah, the market is right next go, go, to Riga, go. and that's a big metro already. I used to make regular trips to Polis, but getting there now requires a lot of luck. That or being from wow, the How come? Hansa connects to the whole metro and has a lot of stations. But doesn't welcome outsiders. And if it's not Hansa, then you have to go through the Reds, the Nazis, or your regular bandits. And these guys are really going at it lately. If they're not fighting everyone else, they're warring with each other. The worst thing I've ever been to was Sivastopolska. Actually, I didn't even reach the station itself. I was suddenly overcome with fear. I just ran away. Slow down, guy. Peter, what's up? A military caravan got stuck near Alexeyevska. A tunnel collapse or other shit. You have to use the service tunnel bypassing Alexeyevska. All right, Peter, open up the gate. No point being stuck here forever. Why? Well, what's wrong with that tunnel? Well, it's an ordinary tunnel. Not as well lit, maybe. I went through that last month and, well, I just don't like it. That's all. Have a safe trip. We're riding a hand car and we're armed, so I think we'll make it there okay. Oh, damn, that's my hand on it. If you help push the lever, we'll get there sooner. Okay, Eugene, you go help the men. We should move faster here. You watch the back, Artyom. Sure, I'll help. That way we'll get to Riga in no time, right? No, we should get out of here sooner. It's scary when they're around. And I pity them. Them? Who, who, who them? Can you hear them weep? Who do you mean, them? What are you talking about? Huh? What, what the hell is going on? What? Boris. Bo Boris. Boris! <clears throat> what? What's happening to me? My head! Aren't you up my What is it? Artyom! Over here! If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated. No matter the cost. Eliminate.
What the hell's going on? Shit! Wake up, people! People! Wake up, for Christ's sake! Boris! Boris, wake up! Boris! Shit! It's no good! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Shoot them! You shoot them! Take the ladders! Come on! Wake up! Riga station was only the first stop on my journey, but the caravan went no further. So, before parting ways, we drank to celebrate our survival. The vodka didn't drown my fear of traveling on to Polis alone, but I was about to find myself with an unexpected and notorious partner. All right, boys. Let's train to our friend Artyom, who goes right through monsters and anomalies alike. To Artyom. To you! Hell, if not for you, Artyom, we'd have been shredded like cabbage. You deserve a medal. <laughs> or at least some extra ammo. Here, take them. To your health. Artyom! To you! Artyom! You really immune to that shit? See if that shroom vodka knocks him down, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to check that! To our luck! And... We to Artyom! To your health! Uh, the vodka kicks everyone's ass, huh? So tell me, the tunnel to market's closed down and I'm bored to death sitting here on my ass. We passed through some kind of invisible wave. We all blacked out. When I came to, there was a horde of missiles chasing us, but our friend didn't Come here. You're our team, right? Sit down. Everybody calls me Bourbon. Listen. I need to get to Dry Station for some business, but this rat hole is on lockdown. I, however, know a back way. A so-called cursed passage the locals are afraid to use. But I hear the shit in the tunnels doesn't work on you. So, you help me get to Dry, I'll give you my AK when we get there. Deal? Good. Here's an advance payment in case you need to gear up first. Are you ready? 
Sitting in this crap hall is useless. As I entered the abandoned tunnel with Bourbon, I wondered if I'd been wrong to trust him. But the station gates were still sealed, and there was no telling when I'd have another chance to leave Riga. Great, we broke free. Now keep your eyes peeled. The handcar ride is over. Lots of tough guys died in these tunnels. If we watch each other's backs, we'll get there. It's just a single lurker. They rarely attack groups of people. But if you're alone, watch your ass. of singing pipes. They say if you listen long enough, you can hear the voices of the dead. What bullshit.
Here is the market. Stay calm. Uncle Bourbon will get us in. Hey, people! Open up! Don't let your two-legged brethren die a foolish death! I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set out the good dishes. Bourbon's come to visit. Now, don't go running off, Bourbon. We've got a little job to finish, then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? I do, I do. You sure? I can help you, remember? You get me right? Absolutely. <laughs> seen a market like this. You could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. Holster your weapons at once. Who are you? Come into the light. Slowly, slowly. I'll beat them. Bourbon. Hey, guys, we'd better search these two. <laughs> So, you old drunk, what are you carrying this time around? Who's the boy? Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Don't move! Stand still, I'm talking to you! Watch your tongue! We're in deep shit. No way I can pay back those railcar guys. We'll be lucky if they let us shovel shit for the rest of our lives. But did you see it? No! It could have been an enemy scout. A now we know where Right in the middle of that town. When I saw it years ago. Well, you can't go to Hansa. It's Look, here's some cartridges. Go get a couple filters, will ya? I have an idea. I'll go have a talk with a certain someone. We could either meet at the local bar or I can find you elsewhere. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. <sighs> Station. I recall. 
of reading that Kalishnikov was very proud that his invention was the most popular gun in the world. He said he was very... Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. It's Moscow. Market Underground Station. This is Moscow Metro. Over. Does anyone read me? Please respond. If anyone reads me. Bourbon? As if you don't know. Go fuck and get out. I've already paid Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through... Does anyone read me? Shit. A pleasure doing business with you. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. No one. Get ready, everyone! The gate's opening! Are you sure, Commander? Take your positions! Cover me! Damn. I hate this so much. Does anyone read me? Please respond. Does anyone read me? I also saw strange beauty in the dark skies and frozen landscape. So that's the dead city, grunted Bourbon. Welcome home, Artyom. Come to the surface almost every day, looking for scrap, ammo, anything they can dig up. Stop. There's the beach. Let's get moving along. Shit! Can you hear this? It's full back a bit.
As we went underground, it struck me that my city was now a foreign and hostile place. I felt safe here, in the darkness of the metro. More so when Bourbon claimed to have friends at Dry Station. Listen carefully. The bandits control this station. We need to move quietly and take a look around. If we don't see my friends, we get the hell out of here. I remember this crate. Let's just... You just stay here. First in. Here. Hold it! Who are you? Hey, give me some light. Oh, ha, ha. who do we have here? It's Bourbon the Huckster. Look who's talking! Take me to your boss. I have business with him. The boss? But of course! Uh, then who's the boss it is? Uh, where else would you like to go, huh? Uh, okay, that's enough. Or else we'll have to drag him. Move it. We'll finish this later. Move it! Nothing but the rats here. Okay, let's go then. What did you bring with you, bastard? Answer, Suka, or I will shut you up. What? Who is it? Who is it? One night. You can keep your weapon down. A sad, but not unexpected finale for the likes of him. My name is Khan. Well, I suggest that we leave this place immediately. The companions of these bandits will show up soon enough, and I'd prefer to avoid more bloodshed. I'm going back to Cursed. This station's humidity is making me rheumatic. If you'd rather share your friend's fate, then by all means, stay. Wise decision. Han's appearance caught me by surprise. Although while fighting the bandits, I did send someone helping from the shadows. Han assured me that Bourbon's fate was not tied to my own. But I regretted his death.
Nobody ever walks here. Neither people nor beasts. Even the rats are absent. They know we are here. Come closer to the tubes and listen. Just don't stay for too long. It appears 
appears that the devastation we brought upon ourselves was complete. Heaven, hell, and purgatory were atomized as well. So when a soul leaves the body, it has nowhere to go and must remain here, in the metro. A harsh but not undeserved atonement for our sins, wouldn't you agree? You can feel it coming, I see. That's a rare talent. You should use it. Don't move. Don't move. Attacks have been unrelenting. Most people have abandoned the 
station. The unfortunate few who remain have nowhere else to go. Han led me into Cursed Station. The name was no accident. Its people were locked in an endless war for survival. The station is under attack again. Let's go, lad. The defenders could use some help. Khan, over here! Another attack? Yes, they broke through the outer defenses. All the survivors are here. Our dad will live to see another day. Where do the monsters come from? As always, from the left tunnel and from the crossing. We sent a demolition squad there, but they never came back. And there is no one else we could send. You are eager to avert your station's doom, Artyom, are you not? And here the doom has already arrived. We must help. Find the remains of the demo squad. They had a bomb. Move it into the left tunnel as far as you can, then run for it. The explosion will be massive. As for the crossing, it's already been buried once, but looks like the Nosalises have dug through the cave-in. There was an airlock close by. It must have been left open. Try locking or collapsing it. I'll stay here with the survivors. Try luring the monsters towards us if there are too many. Big war at a small station was won. I won't be going further with you. I'm still needed here. The tunnels have collapsed. If you still want to get to Polis, you'll have to take a detour. You can get to the armory from here, and afterwards you will have to go through the stations belonging to the Reds and the Nazis. Let's move. The Smithy is an independent station, so it should be no problem. But the Reds are another story. They are building a new society, complete with all the lovely police state bonuses, like people informing on their neighbors. At the smithy look for an acquaintance of mine, Andrew the Blacksmith. Mention my name. He'll give you a hand. Even in these times, we can't relinquish the things that make us human. on you and you alone. Until we meet again, goodbye, Atio. Armory Station was where most of the weapons in the metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, 
but he found me first. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in, this is a free station. station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is the new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades! The enemy never sleeps! I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny. It's glowing. Must be the radiation, huh? <laughs> you... Shh. Hush. And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend. Put your hands out. You're under arrest. All right, all right. Lay off. I'll come quietly. Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Be careful, idiot! Here! God left in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the Blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, Artyom! that luggage hold? Get him to it. Huh? So, what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? Is it really safe in there? I wouldn't like to see him fall 
down onto the rails. Not ass, no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. He'll be going straight to the Bianca, and that's a one way ticket. <sighs> okay, pick it up. You joined the army. I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for that doll. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, Lord, is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. <laughs> sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide! I'd go straight to hell! Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life! Then give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I've heard they once fought another war, and that the Nazis lost. to my senses, I lost all hope. Nazi prisoners were used for slave labor or target practice. Why should we hesitate? Let's shoot this red spy and be done with it. Shouldn't we call the Gestapo? It'll take him forever to get here from Reich. Who'll watch this peak till then? Good point. All right, you red scum. Offer up 
prayer to your marks or whoever. <laughs> Hey, maybe if you beg, we'll think about killing you quickly. You know, one thing I like about the bad guys, there's always a lot of discussion before they get around to pulling the trigger. You owe me one, kid. You don't look like a rat. Who the hell are you? That's Hunter's token. I'd better take you to Miller. Whatever message you have, save it for him. Okay, let's move to the armored car. Okay, Pavel, here's the plan. You'll take him in the armored car to our real car. After that, we'll be real close. Just the hall and the black station. And what about the mission? Hey, Miller will hand you a medal if you bring news from Hunter. I'll handle the mission myself. Let's meet up at the black station. You be careful out there. You should man the turret. It'll be harder to see you that way. I hope you know how to operate a machine gun, kid. Well, guys, good luck to you. After our firefight with the Nazi trolleys, it seemed we would have an easy road ahead. Once again, I was wrong. Almost there. Omen should be waiting at the black station. Junk. Watch out or you'll get knocked senseless, so either duck or shoot. Yeah, a creepy place. Always stay on guard in these tunnels. Relax for a second and you are dead meat. Once we had an incident, the only thing left on the rail car were the guy's boots. Listen up. We'll be approaching a station soon. It should be deserted, but be ready for anything. The depot! I've heard so much about it, so that's what it looks like!
After Pavel's death, I was on my own. Somehow I had to reach Black Station. Ullman would meet me there and take me to Polis. Many of the mutants broke through. Polis must be warned. But my fighting days are over, as you can see. I have a critical mission for you. Go up to our radio beacon. Contact Polis. And broadcast the emergency message I have prepared. Good luck, brother. I'll get eaten by the monsters. You have a gun? Okay, maybe I'll come with you then. You can shoot the monsters, right? Okay. My name is Sasha. You shoot, and I'll watch your back. I hate to leave Uncle here. I was visiting Uncle. He was taking me home when the monsters came. They jumped at him. He started shooting, but then a big Nosalus bit him in the neck. But Uncle is really strong. He killed it with a knife. You don't look as strong as Uncle. I'll have to help you, or we'll both get eaten. that 
up there. Wait, Uncle showed me a picture once. The s sky. That's the sky, isn't it? It's like a painted ceiling. I'll be famous. I saw the sky. Do you think we can climb all the way to the sky? Wait, I don't really want to go this high. Don't drop me. Father is really important to all of us. Uncle if his son died, you know, but this man took him on his shoulders. I him, helped him shoot the monsters. Thank you. Mom, I saw the sky. Mom, I saw the sky. Oh God, poor Siroja. Thank you for saving my son. I can never repay you, but uh, take these cartridges, at least it's something. All right, let's go. Hmm. The black station is not far from here, but this tunnel goes the other way. You need to go up to the surface. Be careful. New creatures have appeared there. Nazis. They've built an outpost in the destroyed building just outside. At the square, we'll find an underground crossing leading to Block Station. I will mark on your map. The boys will let you outside. Good luck to you, Ranger. Come through! up again to the gloomy charm of post-apocalyptic Moscow. I was warned in Hull Station about a new squad of Nazi Rangers on the surface, but I meant to fulfill the last wish of the dead commander and send his message to Polis. It was clear that Black Station was occupied by fascists, but Olman had said he'd wait for me there. I had to risk it.
<laughs> what took you so long? Hey, where's Pavel? Did he... All right, later. The situation got worse. Nazis literally flooded the station. You'll have to act alone. Sorry. But if you can shut down their generator, it'll be easier to sneak past the guards. Take this. I will wait for you in the deserted tunnel to Polis. Here, you climb in here and rest. We'll reach Polis soon. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. Something much worse. Wicked phenomenon, yes. But, you know, it's not any more evil than, say, fire. It all depends on your point of view. Try to get a better understanding of things before you make your judgment. Let's move out now. It's not safe here. It's hard to describe my feelings at that moment. Exhausted, yes. <laughs> but joyful. I had made it. Once I delivered Hunter's message, the rescue of my home station could be decided by those stronger and wiser than I, and my task would be over. Hey, you at the rail car! Stop the engine! Do not move! Name yourselves! Oh, we're Nazis! Come here to take your station! Well, man, is that you? You're lucky Petrovich isn't here. He's not a man for jokes. Who's that with you? He's from the northern frontier. I'm escorting him from the black station. All right, come on through. Let's go. Movie. Welcome to Polis, Captain Krasnov. You've come a long way, young man. Where exactly are you from? He's from the Exhibition. What, can't he speak for himself? Look, Captain, it's the kid's first time in Polis. He's been through hell getting here, and he's carrying Hunter's message to Miller. So, cut him some slack, huh? All right, all right. Get changed. There's the clothes. You can leave your gear. It'll be safe here. You'll get it back sparkling clean. 
You go ahead and take some rest, Artyom, and I'll go find Miller. I hope he's not out on a mission. By the way, don't forget to scrub yourself down in the lobby, old man. I won't, I won't. <laughs> you pain in the ass. Would you rather have two-headed kids? <laughs> Idiot. Well, thank you for bringing this to Polis. Was a brave thing you did. I'll call an emergency session. When they summon you, you'll report the situation. All council members, please assemble in the council chamber. I repeat, all council members, please proceed to the council chamber. Escort the boy to the council chamber. I'm stunned that the Council has refused to help your station. I'm, I'm ashamed that they lack the courage you have already shown. But Polis is not the whole Metro. There still are people who will rise up and fight the threat of the Dark Ones. Okay, 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 okay. Listen carefully. The Rangers have found several well-preserved missile bases near the city. Some could probably be activated and deliver a missile strike against the Dark Ones. The problem is that the missiles are supposed to be launched from the command center, D-6. But we don't know where that is, or if it's operational. However, we do know where that information can be found. There's a huge library on the surface. Dangerous place, but it contains a secret military archive. We must go there. Okay, we'll split up now to avoid the tension. You'll go up from here. I've already arranged that. When you've made your way to the library entrance, I'll be there waiting for you. Okay? Hey, Artyom. Be careful. Ah, one more thing. When we go back, we'll head straight for Sparta base. My rangers will meet us there. Let's go! The Council's decision shocked me, but Miller's plan gave me hope. Once more, I climbed up to the bones of Moscow to search for the secret of D-6 and a way to awaken the horde of missiles. to get to the military archives. It is somewhere beneath the main library. Now, we can reach it through the main reading hall, all right? No freezing here. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Danila, watch the outside. We'll go with our team to check the hall. Ladna. Seems to be quiet. Try 
Original Clip Battle will ever end. My oh my! You probably read about it in books of the saints. It must have been beautiful. Right? That's not all. Librarians are some of the most dangerous creatures out here. If you need one, or two, God forbid, don't fight it. But don't run from it either. The beings won't attack you if you look them in the eye. Now remember, never let them out of your sight. Show them your back, you'll die. Okay, if a beast gets nervous, move away, but slowly. And if you shoot, well, look or don't look, you won't see anything ever again. I must take him to Polis. You'll have to find a map yourself. Here are the floor plans. The entrance to the military archive is somewhere on the first floor of the library. The door the librarian went through leads there. There's not much time. Dawn's coming. Come now, and remember what I told you about the beast, okay? I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Go. I was alone again, and soon I would look into the eyes of fear. Literally.
The underground depository was a frightening place, and I had no idea where or what to search. But I refused to think that all my efforts would come to nothing. I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive. But everything depended on it. So you made it, Artyom. I had my doubts, to be honest. Did you find anything? Okay, saddle up. Такой не ребята. So, where are you going? To church. Artyom, does the name Ken ring a bell? Help us find you. I still don't know how you did it. Hey, how about some music? Sure. What are you doing? Of course, and so far the only human outpost up here. Sparta's outdoor base. Well, in the meantime, I'll check the documents you brought me. I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our whole... Hello there, Artyom. I told you we'd meet again. It's a nice base the Rangers got themselves. I heard you received no help from Polis. What's your next move? Keeping silent, you're turning into a Ranger. Take a close look at the road you follow, Artyom, and be aware of how it might end. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. 
To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Okay, okay, okay. There's not much useful in here. Just hints at most. Although it does show the way to D6. Well, that's our destination then. Are you ready? So, how are we faring? Wolman, is everything ready? Uh, the firewood's done. <laughs> Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Settle up then. Pakonyam! Dark tunnel, wheel rattle, and the smell of death. That's how our journey to D6 began. But our goal seemed closer now. According to the map, there are several ways of reaching D6. Now, the closest one is through the facilities near Kielska. Okay, we tried that route. Kielska? We've heard strange things about that station. There was an explosion in the tunnel, and lots of people were buried alive. A rumor has it they survived, but no longer is it for humans. It is. I believe it. Vladimir lost all his family in the tunnels. And he doesn't remember anything but what happened. Artyom! 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 Wake up, Artyom! Wake up! Great, he's coming to... Put the light away, you're blinding him. Artyom, are you okay? Can you stand up? Artyom, who is that? We're arriving! There's an airport here! Great, stop here. Hell, this place giving the creeps. What is? Take a look at the gate. The control unit is broken to smithereens. All the lines are cut. Vlad, get your tools ready. We need this door open. Artyom, you stay here and cover our backs. We don't need surprises here. Sure, I don't think we're going too smoothly. Watch your best. Okay, okay. Vladimir, find the first block chart. Hold on, look here. First we connect the wires, then on my mark we throw the switches. Something's out there. Something's closing in. <laughs> Ignore it. Anosalysis! Fire! The chaos of the tunnel was locked away behind the airlock gates. They seemed invulnerable. And at that moment, so did my comrades. All right, we've broken through. Let's do this fast and smooth. Olman, you're in charge of the assault team. Boris and Stepan, you cover the comedian. Artyom, Vladimir, stay close to me. Okay, Ribeta, let's do it. Hey, what a hurry, Colonel. How about sitting down and having a smoke? <laughs> We're way too nervous. It's no rest for the wicked, as you know. Forward, my soldiers! Great deeds await! Great deeds? Somehow I'm not too enthusiastic about leaving my mark in history. Well, 
Well, we got this. Someone left a skeleton here. Hey, how about we take it as a memento? Holman, enough of the jokes, Blit. When we're back at the base, we'll be sweeping tunnels with a toothbrush. Yes, my marshal. As you say, my general. Here's the first challenge. Artyom, flip those breakers. Well done, Artyom. You've just earned yourself a medal. Holman, check the pool! Oh no, I ain't going. It's dark and scary there. Shit! Watch your language, soldier. It's not language, it's shit. Literally, I stepped in it. Oh, well, that's a great sign. <laughs> it's not a sign, it's an omen. If there is shit, then something left it here. Looks like we're through. Take a look what's behind the door. Sipan, that's enough. You can't help him, Sipan. Let's go. What, Suki? Boris, I swear on your memory, they won't rest while I'm alive. Artyom, here! Oh, thank God, at least you're alive. We lost Stepan. Fuck! Hey, silence. A sound from the tunnel. Can't you hear it? Something's approaching. What's up? Well, well, well. What the hell? Looks like an automatic system. I'll check it out. We were close to D6 now. It was hard to believe that we'd found a legendary command center. But was it worth so many lives? Soon, we would know the answer. Careful, damn it! Twenty years without maintenance is too much even for Soviet military structures. Everyone watch your step, especially you, Artyom. Hmm. Looks pretty clear. The control room should be there. Well, let's check it out. Holman, Vladimir, stay here and cover our asses. We never know what's coming. Artyom, come with me. Oh, sir, yes, sir. Holman, hold the door. Vladimir, that's your field. What do you need? Let me think. Um, instruction A124, page 3. Um, panel DS-22. All right. There it is. 
Superb memory, Vladimir. I always said the army was a worthwhile institution. All the training finally paid off. It's working. Now that's hardware. Excellent. First, died. Second, destroyed. Third, fourth, fifth, eighth, tenth. Jokey pokey, that just cannot be. Here, here's one. Now, now I'll get all the info. What the hell? What happened? Battery backup depleted. What about main power? Well, it looks like the reactor is deactivated. We won't be able to start it from here. We need to start the reactor manually at the lowest level. From the schematic, it's not that difficult. Almost everything is automated. <laughs> hey, stop laughing! How do we go down? Well, there's a lift just one level down. But there's a slight problem. To power it up, we need to switch off everything. Even emergency lighting. Then there is no other choice. Do it. Thanks, Volodya. Stay here and watch the readings. We'll be fast. Artyom, Olman, follow me! I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Here come the sons of the apocalypse. Olman! Change of plans. You stay with Vladimir and defend this position. If anything happens, I will send Artyom. Good luck to us all! Okay, this is the lift. I hope it still works. Can you believe in that crap after all this? Colonel, go to the reactor hall. There will be a main reactor in the center, left of the control room. A lift goes down to the ground floor, and you will have to take the stairs up. Activate the switchboard by the means of the large lever. I will tell you what to do next. You What do we do now, huh? Vladimir, if only you could see that. Okay, get ready, Artyom. It's going to be hot. This shit on the floor is toxic for sure, and all the gas. We won't last long here. Places and I've seen my share of shit, but this really, is in the league of its own. Here's the staircase. Artyom, I won't lie to you. I'm afraid now. Let's hurry to the bunker. The sight just makes me sick. Okay, where is the lever? Ah. Ha, I knew you could do it. 
Colonel, the system is automated. Just enter the command. Sure. It's easier said than done. Never thought I'd be in such a mess. Okay. Enter starter. One, two, three, four. Looks simple. They built it so even a fool could use it. Just pray to God it works. Colonel, it's all good. She's at one quarter power. We need a full charge. Keep it going. It's short, buddy. Oh well, we won't do any better than that. Let's go. Second. Now this shit is fighting back. This gets worse every minute. Yeah. Tuck, 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 tuck. Manual activation system, hydraulics, sure. Artyom, you won't believe what you have to do now. Can you see the crane on the ceiling? Get to the cabin. It's a backup activation system with a capture mechanism which will help us lift the rods. Try to get there while I distract our friend. Okay, let's move. It's now a rover! Well, thank God that in the past everything was built in pairs. We should go this way for now. We'll come back here later and finish what we started. Just need to prepare better. Let's deal with your dark ones first.
2021. I inherited a future. How much power is here? Though this will be... Will rule the earth once more. We won't have to live like rats. Yes, with sword and fire, we'll win back the sky and the sun. We'll climb out of the dirt. Rebuild the cities. The metro tunnels will once again be filled with fast silver trains. Everything will be... Yeah, everything. down there. Okay. Let's keep it together. Artyom and I will go to Astangna to correct the aim. You stay here and defend Vladimir. I won't guess our chances of making it, but try to reach our people and ask for backup near the tower. I'll be in contact. Orders clear? Good. Artyom, let's go. Good luck, guys. Same old story, huh? You save the world while sitting waist deep in shit and nobody gives a damn. Miller and I left the train, then climbed up the tunnel to the Korolev Performance Hall. We were close to Ostankino Tower now. In the frozen streets, we joined other rangers in the furious battle that began my story. Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Turn the circle! Way. 
to be tough. You're an eternal optimist, Miller. Easier said than done. Okay, okay, I have an idea. Climb on top of the elevator. We will try to unlock the counterweight stopper. Come on! Come on, Suga! Come on! Join the army, they said. It will be fun, believe. Brace yourself. It's gonna get a bit rough. system up. Move, boy, move! Everything depends on you now. He's here, he's here. He brings, he brings death. He's coming, but he's coming to destroy us.
Hostile, you kill it. This man once said, he who leads a war for the love of his fellow man will defeat his enemies. I led my war protecting my family and friends, protecting my home, the metro. We had won. But to this day, I wonder, when we burned the dark ones from the face of the earth, was something lost as well?
If it's hostile, you kill it. Destroy, destroy. You read what you saw, Martin. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. 20 seconds to Hummy procedure completion. H.G. Wells once wrote, If we don't end wars, wars will end us. And somehow, I stopped my war. At the time, I couldn't say what had made me spare the Dark Ones. But I came to realize that the strange visions that haunted my journey were their attempts to reach out to us. I don't know if I was the first to communicate with them. But I will not be the last. They are among us now. And the future, our future, stretches before us like an endless metro tunnel.